fall slightly slower than they are going to run the dense hammer. Um, but if you watch the actual feather hammer experiment from Apollo 15, when the astronaut drops the two objects, the feather is horizontal as it falls, and it just falls straight flat. It doesn't rotate or in any way show any behavior of being influenced by air. This is a couple of steps. Uh, of course, all these things depend on a very high level of colorability. Yes. Uh, Actually, not necessarily, but go on. Uh, well, of lack of skepticism, lack of uh, a willingness to challenge, if you like. Um, and indeed, that even within the believers, perhaps more so than the believers, um, and yet we spend all our lives being and, uh, and in fact inflicting it on others, whereas younger and smaller we are, uh, to be in fact or to accept things at face value. Uh, that is part of our society. Um, this seems to be a place to start. It is. I think skeptics play a very important role in trying to encourage people to question everything they hear. Um, most people are skeptical to some extent. I mean, um, I think they don't believe. Uh, well, <laughs> that's true. But most people will touch a, a, a wall which has a sign saying "wet paint" next to it. So, there, so most people do at least have some level of skepticism. The level of skepticism of other people is somewhat lower. Um, there is the guy who has the, uh, known as the UFOs Aliens website in Britain who uh, is sceptical both of um, the idea that the astronauts went to the moon and the idea that the astronauts didn't find alien artifacts on the moon. So simultaneously, <laughs> Apollo, was, the Apollo astronauts didn't go to the moon and when they went there they found alien artifacts. Um, that's, that requires a fairly special level of, uh, of uh, open-mindedness. <laughs> um, but, you know, the point is we, can't, we also can't be necessarily sceptical about everything. Uh, there are some times when you just have to say, well, look, I'm going to have to accept that because you can't go testing everything every time. And then that's when you rely on experts. The problem is, as I said before, um, hoax believers and other conspiracy theorists are people who tend to set themselves up as experts and at the same time say, well, what would experts know? Um, they're the open-minded ones. They're the ones who are willing to challenge everything. And somehow when a sceptic comes along and says, yes, but what about this? They say, well, you're just being closed-minded. So I can't give you a very <coughs> clear answer about what to do, except to say, um, these are the steps I've come up with for, uh, for teaching people how to test the conspiracy theory, or for that matter, any other theory. And um, maybe you might like to go out and, and uh, encourage people to, to think about that. <laughs>